I don't know what happened with Sonic Boom. I had a lot of hype for the game, and it just wound up disappointing everybody across the scale. And their whole excuse is, oh, it was only for kids age 6 to 11. Even kids age 6 to 11 wouldn't play that shit. It was so sloppy. It was incomplete. It was unfinished. It needed a lot more polishing. Yeah, it was doomed from the start, wasn't it? After I saw Knuckles with the steroids, it was doomed from the start. But anyways, guys, so we have some information coming from Kotaku here, which involves Sonic and Gang's, you know, redesigns and whatnot. It says, basically, you hate Sonic's new redesign. It could have looked a lot more different. So, this is one of the potential prototypes where he has shorts on. You know, to be honest, I know some of you guys might hate me for this, but this actually doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of cool, but it's the other ones later on in the article that have me kind of breathing a little bit heavy right now. So um, let's take a look at what Kotaku has dug up on this. So ever since Sonic the Hedgehog's new look debuted back in February, longtime video game lovers have been weighing in on the character's tweaked visuals. Well, if you like the Sonic Boom versions of Sega's mascot, or you know, it says if you feel like the Sonic Boom versions of Sega's mascot went too far, then you should know that they could have gone a lot further. <laughs> oh God! So now we have this image right here, and um, when I first saw this, it scared the shit out of me because what character is this supposed to be? You know, this is supposed to be Eggman, my niggas, Eggman. Dr. Robotnik, this guy, like, these are all the redesigns that he could have potentially had in Sonic Boom. Thankfully, things didn't go that far. Early concept art from artists who worked on Sonic Boom could have re reimagined Eggman as a skinny, shaggy haired scientist with a peach fuzz beard and had Sonic in a t shirt and shorts. Public Facebook posts from Nicholas Villarreal and other, and other artists show some of the different iterations that went through Sega's gatekeepers as the process of making Sonic Boom got underway. There's no way of knowing if these particular redesigns are the ones that caused discomfort to the members of the original Sonic team, but I, for one, kind of like the Crick falushi ish take on Sonic, the one without the clothes. It sort of begs for a totally different gaming experience, something wackier than previous games in this character's long history. But obviously he didn't really comment too much on the whole Eggman redesign because this is absolute shit. Dr. Robotnik looked like one of these guys? I'm glad that didn't happen. And you know, I actually like his look in Sonic Boom as well too. Like he, he, he maintains that essence of what makes him Eggman. I think Eggman was one of the only things that Sonic Boom didn't fuck up to a massive extent. Eggman is okay, but everybody else kind of can get the boot. Sonic with all the bandages, I wasn't feeling it too much. But this is horrible. Like, this motherfucker looks like he's doped up on something. Like, all these designs. What's up with the long legs and the skinny torso? That's not who Robotnik is. That's not who Eggman is. This nigga's not threatening. He looks like a, he looks like some high school student about to build a fucking bomb. Like, <laughs> that's, and that's fucked up of me to say. I only go to that fucked up level if it's really bad. And this is really bad. Like, come on, man. This nigga looks... Yeah, I don't like it. I, I really don't like it a lot at all, man. Like, come on. I mean, some of these are cool. I'm not saying that these designs are bad in themselves, but they're not good when applied to Dr. Robotnik, Dr. Eggman. No, it, it doesn't apply. No, so I'm glad that the gatekeepers of uh, Sonic Team kept that out of the way. So, um, yeah, I was just looking at this article to see if there are any concept art visuals of the... Um, of the uh, stuff that made Sonic Team feel uncomfortable when Sonic Boom creators tried to like get their designs passed. But um, yeah, so here's another way that Sonic could have looked, which is a little bit ridiculous to me. I mean, but then again, it's, it's unfinished, so meh. But still, I'm not feeling it. I'm really not feeling it. Anti-Shulk in this building. Look at this shit. Look at this one on the bottom. What the fuck is this? He actually looks like a hedgehog there. That's that's not supposed to be the case. Like he actually looks like a hedgehog with this one. I don't like it. This one he just looks really young in all these. I'm glad these didn't really see the light of day. And this is the design that the article creator was talking about that he kind of liked, and I could see why too. The whole thing with the arms, like the skin tone variation, it's kind of cool. I like it. So if this was Sonic and Sonic Boom, maybe it could have been worked out a little bit better. But it's not too bad. I like the shoes too. How it's more of a. I, I don't know if you would say modern, but it's more of a contemporary feel to it, you know? Gotta have some chucks. But um, yeah, what do you guys think of this whole thing with Eggman and how this is how he could have potentially looked? I'm not really feeling it too much, but I want to know what you guys have to say. What do you think of Sonic Boom in general? That's a whole nother video topic in itself, though, so I'm not even going to get into that one too much. But Sonic Boom just... It, it, it gets the boom, nigga. It gets the boom because that game just... I, I, I'm not feeling it too much. My dude Kobe 
My dude Kobe was playing through that game, and I felt bad for him every single second that he went through with it, man. Kobe, next time we meet, I got a hug waiting for you because that game, you can't play through that without feeling some kind of emotional damage, especially if you're a Sonic fan to the extent that I am. Man. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.